Hi, I'm Jennifer, and you're watching the Corvette Channel. Hi everybody, welcome back to the channel. My name is Scott, and today I'm going to be showing you how to install ProClip USA's newest mount in their lineup. It's a Scosche wireless fast charging universal mount adapted with their swivel mount and their custom mount that goes to the C7. Now, you can always, if you guys are looking at this for the first time and you don't happen to have a Corvette or you've got a different style of Corvette, go to their website, take a look at what they have, put in your car, and you'll be able to find the, the adapter that they have to fit your vehicle. And today we're just going to be going over the installation on how to hook it up inside of a C7, but, um, but you'll have no problem watching this video of knowing how to hook this, the wire up in the car no matter what type of car it is, okay? So uh, just sit back and relax and I'm gonna show you how it's done. So guys, here's the wireless fast charging mount that we're talking about. And I realize it says vent mount, but we're actually not going to be using it for that. But you could if you wanted to. It comes with the, the vent mount piece uh, in it. But we're actually going to be utilizing ProClips USA's um, their brackets. Now this is the actual adapter bracket here. Let's see if I can get that into the camera so you guys can see it. But this actually fits onto the grab handle between the passenger and the driver. And then this little guy, this little swivel, goes onto it and then the mount itself that I just showed you clips onto here. So we're gonna, we're gonna show that um, here in the car in just a second and uh, I'll show you exactly how it's done. We're gonna go ahead and we'll start the installation here. Now I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna close this down here so you'll have clean view right here. Now, what we've got is we've got our, our mount itself and we've got our bracket from ProClip USA. Okay, now this little bracket is really, really, really ingenious. I like how it fits. Um, I just didn't even want to have a cell phone in the car or, a, you know, on a holder in the car until I actually came across this one. This one is really cool. Now, it comes with the instructions, um, but just watch my video here and you're going to know exactly how to do it. Now, this little guy, basically just all it does is it just clips underneath underneath the handle here. Now, those of you that have these cars, you know, if you feel right underneath here with your finger, you're going to feel that there's two pieces of trim that goes on each side of this grab handle. And you'll be able to feel a seam that's going right down the back side. And that's where this little guy goes in between there. And then this, this piece right here, this actually goes right in between the fabric, the leather here, and and the uh, plastic trim that's going in right here, okay? Now, usually you can pull it right up underneath there like that, and you can just pull this bracket right on over and it just clips. If you're having a problem with that, they include a little wedge um, that you can get in there like this. You can just put it right in there like that and you can wedge it open just enough to get it in there like that, okay? So I'm literally just going to, hopefully my arm is out of the way, I'm gonna get that bottom piece in between that and that wedge. I'm gonna go up as high as it'll slide up. And then I'm gonna go up like so and clip it on there like that. And that's that's all there is to that, okay? Now, the next piece is the swivel. And the swivel is the, the swivel and an adapter that allows you to get the, um, get it to go from the pro clip um, base itself to the scotch okay so this goes on like that and you're gonna screw that down and it's gonna come with four screws here that it comes with to be able to screw it on okay now that's the only thing that you do have to have is a Phillips screwdriver so I'm and you can see that there's a Phillips head right here in the dead center so you're gonna take that loose okay you're gonna loosen that up, take this screw out, okay? And this will allow you to take the whole thing apart like that. It gets it out of the way. Now what you can do is you can take your, take your screws here. You wanna be careful 
and this is a small small Phillips blade so you don't need a really big one okay and you're going to start these screws in here like this see if we can get them going here okay so you're just gonna get them started like that hopefully my my arm is out of the way here <laughs> okay so you guys can see what I'm doing okay just like that Now the cool thing about this is that there's there's not a bunch of sticky stuff going on. There's nothing going on here that's ever going to hurt your car. And if you decide you're going to take it back off tomorrow, you take it off and nobody's going to be the wiser. Okay. So now that we've got this little guy on there like that, we're just going to simply take our our screwdriver, right? Make sure we're on our screw and we're going to push this back together. I'm going to just put this back on. And tighten it down. Okay. And you want to make this fairly snug. You don't want to tighten it down so tight that it won't it won't twist. But you want to make it fairly uh, stiff so that way you you basically adjust it to where you're going to want your phone and you're good to go. So now see you can tilt this thing almost straight out the back, or you can move it toward the driver and then you can twist it around. What this allows for is it allows that when we go to put the base on, that when you hook your phone on like this, you'll be able to turn it like that and you can go landscape mode if you needed to okay just like that now i've been installing these for a little while i've been uh, as you saw i've done the videos before um on the magnetic mount and and i and i love that mount it, i really do um but i've had a bunch of customers here lately that have been wanting me to wire up their uh their cell phone uh cell phones to charge as well as putting in um uh, radar detectors and so um, so the customers started they they'd see my videos and they started they saw the new the new chargers that are on on the website and so they started trying these out and they really like them so so anyway um, so now we're doing a video on that so now here is the base the base charger you can see it, it just goes into the slot here and it's just going to lock in okay well, let me explain to you how the thing works first. You've got a couple buttons here, release buttons, that it allows it to widen out. And then there's another button down here at the bottom that allows this to drop down. So it allows for a pretty much any size phone to fit in this. And basically what you do is you'll just fine tune it. Once we get it all wired up, we'll just adjust the adjust my phone up and down here to the height that it needs to be and then also its sides and then it'll stay like that. The wiring on these are extremely simple, okay? Um, there's not a lot to it. There's literally one cable. There's a uh, USB uh, cigarette lighter adapter that we're just gonna plug that little guy in like that, okay? And then on the other side is USB 3, or USB-C I should say, and it goes on to the very bottom like that. Okay, so that's all the wiring there is to it. Now, what I do is I, I will run it around over here and I'll plug it in underneath here in just a second. But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna hook this on, okay? And that just slides on and then down. Okay, so now that we've got this in place, we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna plug the cigarette lighter in into the car, okay, like so. And we're gonna go ahead and we're just gonna close this so you guys can see this. And then I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to turn the key on. Okay, and then at that point, you should be able to see here there's a little bit of reflection off of my finger. That's a green light that's on here. Let me see if we can turn this a little bit more so you can see the green light there. And um, I apologize for the beeping, but that's because the car's off and with the ignition on. And we're going to go and we're just going to set the, the phone in place here. And you're gonna see that it automatically starts doing its fast charging right there. So now all I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna squeeze this together. Just like that. And this is already adjusted to the right height. But you would you would just adjust this up or down to get it to wherever it's gonna meet the coils, the charging coils that matches up. And literally that's all you're doing. And at that point you can just tilt the phone to however you want to do it. You can turn it like this. 
kind of just like that, and then this way you can see it sideways. So that is literally as simple as it gets, guys. Um, to route this, what I do, let me, uh, let me cover that really quick. I'm gonna shut this key off so the buzzer isn't driving you guys crazy. Is I literally, what I do is I, I will take this cord and I will get it about like so. Or you can see there's a little bit of cable here. Hopefully my arm isn't, is, isn't in the way here. And the reason I do that is and then this way what it can do is this can actually tilt. Now you can see that that didn't have enough there. So I'm gonna go right there. And maybe we need to, on this one, we need to do it like that. And we can give it just a little bit more. Not like that. Okay. Then it's going to be able to tilt all the way. And it will go right back like that. And this cable is still staying out of the way of everything. But it still allows for the phone to be twist, the twisted. Now, if you don't care about the twist part of it, then you can adjust this cable, however. But I like to be able to do that. Um, my phone doesn't have the... Um, uh, Apple CarPlay so if I want to be able to use the Android maps then I can do that um, without you know without uh, messing with the screens here so basically what I'm doing right now is I'm taking this right here and I'm just gonna basically push against this handle just a little bit it's like that to tuck it in okay and you hopefully you can see that okay and that's literally all I'm doing Okay, and then I'm going to tuck it like right underneath down the side over here and it's going to go right down the side of the of the uh, center console. Now again, hopefully my hopefully my arm is not in your way guys. I'm going to take this loose. I'm going to bring this around like this because it's going to go back over on this side of like that. Okay. And we're just going to tuck it all the way down the side just like this and it's totally out of the way no one's ever going to see it okay and then we can bring this up inside the glove box like that okay just like that there and and at that point you can wire tie it off or you can just like tuck it down in here in the trunk in the uh, bottom of the glove box and you're done okay so now we are we're charging the car uh or charging the phone from the car got our holder all set to go i mean you can't beat this doesn't that look great so anyway that's that's as simple as it gets guys there's not a whole heck of a lot to it um, so hopefully you enjoyed the video. Hopefully uh, you guys want to go get one now for your car. And they fit all the different phones. When you, uh, when you get on their website, it's going to ask you what car you have and what mount you're going to want. And it's going to go ahead and you're going to tell it what phone you have and it'll tell you what's available. So uh, check, be sure and check out their website and I'm sure they'll be able to help you out. So guys, hopefully you found this video helpful and informative. And when it comes time that you need to be able to get a cell phone holder for your car, you'll know exactly where to look. So reach out to ProClip USA and be sure and mention Corvette Channel to get your discount. So guys, I just want to thank you all for watching today. If you guys have not already subscribed, please hit that subscribe button, hit that bell, and hit that like button. And that way you'll be alerted of our next uploads. We're getting really close to 10,000 subscribers and I just can't wait to celebrate that moment. So guys, I just want to thank you all for watching, and you guys have a great night. Thank you for watching the Corvette channel. Don't forget to hit subscribe.